Alrighty, happy Monday afternoon. Your full weather forecast brought to you by Scott's Recreation, New England's largest trailer dealer, home of Ming's lowest camper and tractor prices. With locations in Turner, Manchester, Herman, and Orono, Maine. Alrighty, air quality alerts. We haven't talked about this in a while. Alright, air quality alerts are up for the southern parts of the state. Last until the afternoon period with code orange air quality possible in these areas, which is considered unhealthy for the sensitive groups. So if you're affected by this, definitely stay inside and keep the air clean, at least until things improve later this afternoon. By about 2.45 p.m., we'll see this game dropped. But a small craft advisory also up along the coast. Lasting until about 6 p.m. this evening with a cold front moving in. That will cause some gusty winds from time to time as well. But now the rain is moving in from the west to the east, so we'll need to be watching this. So some heavy downpours and, of course, some general thunderstorms also possible. As this line right here moves in ahead of this cold front, though, once this moves in, temperatures will actually start to rise as soon as we have another system now begin to move in. Temperatures could possibly make the 80s later this week. But what you find is increasing around 4 to 5 feet, according to some of the buoys out there, too. So starting to get a little bit more active along the coast, though. And we have the winds to thank for that, with gusty winds reaching up to about 20, maybe 25 miles per hour this afternoon, calming down as we head towards the overnight period. So moving forward, our average high is 78 degrees, lower 70s today. Then there's that gradual warm up, lower 80s by Wednesday, middle 80s by Friday, and backing off as we head towards Saturday and the Sunday. All right, the humidity may be uh, on the rise a little bit, though. We have it up there today, though, before that cold front moves in. Falling back Tuesday, and we have to wait till about Friday and Saturday for the dew points to rise into the middle 60s. So future cast moving through showers and storms this afternoon. Things start to calm down later on tonight, even becoming mostly clear from time to time with areas of fog as well. But then by tomorrow morning, though, the fog will go away. Maybe an isolated shower or storm, not out of the question. We're thinking maybe a few sprinkles at this trade, but mostly clear as we head towards later Tuesday night and the parts of Wednesday. Say morning. So your forecast for today, lower 70s afternoon showers and thunderstorms. That south wind getting up to about 15, maybe even 20 miles per hour. Later on tonight, 55 degrees, showers and thunderstorms early. Then the clouds begin to break up. Areas of dense fog as well. And the wind overall looking nice and calm. For tomorrow, upper 70s, partly cloudy, maybe a few sprinkles or light rain showers possible. West wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Already Scott's Recreation extended forecast Wednesday, partly cloudy, highs in the lower 80s, lower 80s again on Thursday with a small chance for rain. Mostly cloudy by Friday, highs in the mid 80s.